Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here on this channel. Most people only talk about long grid bots, but there's another option that can be very useful, the neutral grid bot. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can set one up, a neutral grid bot on Bybit, explain how it works and compare it to the long grid bot as well. We'll use a theorem as an example with Elliott Wave Analysis to define our trading range, but really you can use any method to define your range. It's just important that you have a clear trading range, a clear trading idea. Now let's first of all define the range. Um, I'm going to use a, a similar setup or structure that we talked about in previous tutorials. Um, obviously Ethereum reached its all-time high at around $4,950 in August. And again, it doesn't matter. The analysis doesn't matter. It's just to show you and explain to you why I'm picking this range for the grid bot. Um, again, when you watch the video, maybe in a year or so, <laughs> this will still be relevant, but there will be other ranges. It's just important to understand that a grid bot is a, a range trading tool, right? So we want to have a clearly defined range. Now, since that August high, we've been in a corrective pullback, which I consider wave four. Now, from an Elliott wave point of view, that's a corrective pullback, uh, which means I'm rather looking for higher prices. Important is that no important support is broken. The range is still alive. Um, now, from an Elliott wave analysis point of view, the key support is therefore around $3,370. That's the 50% retracement. And the upper boundary of our range is the all-time high at $4,000. $950 plus minus a few dollars. Um, and that gives us a broad sideways range. Now for this tutorial, we'll use that range just as an example for a bot setup, um, especially for a neutral bot. Um, it's, it's you know, you would pick a neutral bot when you expect some long sideways movements. I'm going to talk about in a minute about the, 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 you know, the important aspects. But for example, for, for a long sideways range, I mean, while I record this, uh, you consider the Aptos chart. I mean, this is, there is no trend here whatsoever. It is really a multi-year long sideways range. And that is what it looks like, right? And the grid bot would love that. Now, of course, for a futures grid bot, you need to consider um, you're paying fees and everything. You know, you don't want to leave a futures grid bot run for years. Probably not, but... Just be aware of the fees, but just to show you how such a long sideways range would look like. Now, let's first of all navigate here on Bybit to the trading bot um, area. Now, the way to, to find it is to go to trade. Uh, no, sorry, you go to tools, trading bot, and then you go to futures, grid, create. And there is neutral, there is long, there is short. Today, we want to talk about neutral, and I want to select it manual like all the settings right you could also set ai strategy but i want to select um, manual now what's the difference actually between long and neutral now a long grid bot really only works on the long side now it buys at lower levels in the range and sells higher but it never opens short positions now that makes sense if you expect sideways movement with a bullish bias as i would actually expect it on the ethereum chart you think prices will eventually break out to the upside, but you still want to profit from the range in the meantime, because let's be honest, trading a range can be very, very draining, especially in a wave four correction. Um, a neutral grid bot can trade both long and short positions inside the same range. Now, this is useful if you believe the market could remain sideways for longer, yeah, without a clear breakout direction. The bot will sell into strength when the market moves up, and it will also short when the price goes down. So neutral is designed for sideways chop, not for trending markets. Now, it's important to understand that any grid bot is really for a range, but the long grid bot would be more with, a, with an even stronger bullish bias. Neutral is really range, just pure range. Now here in the grid dashboard, instead of selecting long now, we, we've chosen neutral. Uh, I have to select obviously the contract I want to pick like Ethereum, yeah, Ethereum USDT. Um, again, neutral, yeah, and I have to select the range I want. So 3,370, we said it's kind of the lower boundary. I'm gonna pick 3,350 because again, a little bit more space, a little bit more room is fine. Uh, we don't want the bot to be deactivated or get stopped out just because if we break a couple of dollars below below support. And then, 
like 4950 just to pick a top around the all-time high. And then uh, we can select arithmetic or geometric. Now arithmetic mean, means it's equal spacing between each order, order yeah, of the bot. Obviously the bot will buy and sell in that range. Geometric means you have more proportional spacing for most users. However, arithmetic is simple and works fine. Again, leverage and risk. You can, it's a futures grid bot. Yeah, so Bybit kind of suggests 10x leverage here by default. I would reduce it a bit. Um, especially in the beginning when you only get familiar with it and then, you know, um, when you get used to it, uh, you can select the number of grids then here as well, um, which is just the number of, let's say, trigger points in that range. Uh, you can increase it. Important is to point out, yeah, the higher you go in terms of grids, the higher your minimum investment needs to be. Now, for demo purposes, I just leave it at 20. 5x leverage, yeah, and it, it's just important, I mean, you can, again, you can also, nah, higher minimum investment, the lower the leverage is. So typically for most, begin I mean, if, if you're a beginner, start with a spot grid bot, but if you then start to move into futures grid bots, I would really only start with low leverage first for, from a risk management point of view. When you get comfortable, you can then slowly increase leverage to the point where you're comfortable with the risk. Remember, if Ethereum suddenly breaks above 5,000 or below 3,350, you can end up with open positions in the wrong direction, right? That's why a neutral board only makes sense if you truly expect the market to stay in the range. Now, again, how do you decide then which bot to use? Now, if you expect really sideways market with no clear direction, a neutral bot, yeah? But if you expect sideways, but with an overall bullish bias, a long bot is safer choice because you don't risk being stuck in short positions when the breakout comes. Very important. And if you're convinced that a breakout is imminent, you probably don't want a bot at all. In that case, you simply go long directly or by spot or you, you run a mix, right? You, it, doesn't, it can be an idea to have a bot running and be long at the same time. So you could be long with a clear stop loss while then having a grid bot in case we stay in the range for a little longer. You know what I mean? So, because in a trending market, a grid bot will be less profitable. So the bot is really just for the range. And in practice, again, you can also combine these, right? So again, um, it really can be helpful to run a, a long bot inside the range while holding a direct position or a futures long to be prepared for a breakout. Um, now, a neutral grid bot is a great tool when the market keeps chopping sideways, but it carries the same risks as any future strategy, margin, leverage, liquidation. So the bot only works as long as the price stays inside the range you define. Um, now, treat, really, treat neutral bots as range trading tools. They're not designed for trends, and they should always be used with clear risk limits. And I'm going to pick here... An investment um, you you know I would recommend you you set a stop as well you can do that here um, you can set a trading stop if you want to or you just say um, you know here stop bottom price would have to be below three thousand three hundred fifty dollars of course you see your liquidation price long and short because it's a neutral one you have a long and a short liquidation price and then when I select here I can say three thousand three hundred would be my stop and also a top, uh, a stop top price, right? Th this is important because you have a neutral bot. You have a stop bottom and a stop top price, yeah. Because you need to be stopped. You need to stop out, or at least consider you want a stop loss for both ends of the range, right? So it could be five thousand. And then you just create the bot, confirm, and it's running, right? And then you go to my bots and then you see it running here obviously it hasn't done anything yet um neutral bot 3x it shows you your investment total pnl price range grids and i'm gonna terminate it now because i actually believe that ethereum will rather go up eventually so i don't need a neutral grid bot but it was for demo purposes so hopefully that is helpful um we have partnered with bybit bybit is one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world if you'd like to test the strategy yourself or test grid bots, you'll find our official Bybit partner link in the video description. By using it, you support this channel and also future tutorials, and you'll also receive a 10% discount on trading fees. So you start with a discount on trading fees for the first 30 days. 
Um, make sure you trade responsibly and let me know in the comments whether you prefer neutral, long or short bots. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.